Crypto.com said Thursday that cybercriminals had breached its security systems earlier in the week and made off with more than $30 million in stolen Bitcoin and Ethereum. Earlier this week, Crypto.com said that thieves had hacked its security systems, stealing more than $30 million in Bitcoin and Ethereum. A statement from the cryptocurrency exchange Crypto.com which is best known for its viral commercial starring Matt Damon and its recent $700 million deal to rename the Staples Center in Los Angeles. As Crypto.com Arena, said hackers were able to bypass its two-factor authentication system and withdraw funds from 483 customer accounts. The Singapore-based crypto exchange posted the statement on its corporate blog on Thursday. A total of 4,836.26 CTH and 443.93 BTC were taken out illegally, with around 66.200 US dollars in other currencies taken out, according to the business in a blog post. Based on current exchange rates, it amounts to around $15 million and $19 million in Ethereum and Bitcoin, respectively. According to Crypto.com, all clients have been completely refunded for any cash that were lost as a consequence of the theft. It is intended to act as a postmortem for the hack, which occurred on Monday, according to the company's blog. It gives facts on the incident, as well as the company's discovery and response to the cyber breach, as well as its future measures, but it does not reveal any information about the identities of the hackers who were responsible for the breach. Many people believe that the timing of Crypto.com's public declaration, which came three days after the attack, was a sign of delayed confirmation. A Coindesk story published on Wednesday said that around 4,600 Ethereum that was allegedly stolen from Crypto.com was now being laundered through Tornado Cash, an Ethereum mixer, according to the Post. The blog post on Thursday was also in response to a Bloomberg interview with Crypto.com chief executive Chris Marshalek on Wednesday, in which the CEO revealed that about 400 user accounts were compromised. As the CEO explained to Bloomberg, given the magnitude of the firm, these statistics are not especially significant, and client money were not at danger. After receiving allegations of strange behavior on their accounts, the firm sent a tweet on January 16 in which it announced the temporary suspension of withdrawals as a result of strange behavior on their accounts. Withdrawals will be temporarily halted while our team conducts an investigation. All of your cash are secure according to the firm. Clients, like Los Angeles-based jeweler Ban Baller, were quick to call in to question the company's assurance that all monies are secure. I messaged y'all guys hours ago about my account having 4.28 TTH taken out of nowhere and I'm also wondering how they got past the TUFA, Baller said in response. The validity of TUFA is brought into doubt. When logging into an online account, two-factor authentication, often known as TUFA, requires users to supply two unique pieces of identity such as a one-time passcode in addition to a password, in order to be authenticated. As a typical security technique, it adds an additional layer of protection against weak passwords such as a surname followed by 123, for example. Despite the fact that TUFA is widely utilized across sectors, it is considered a requirement for digital currency accounts. The breach on Monday, on the other hand, calls into doubt the dependability of two-factor authentication in terms of keeping digital assets secure from hackers. For the time being, Crypto.com claims it will continue to use TUFA, but this will not be the case for long. Following the discovery of the hack, the firm revoked all customer TUFA tokens and utilized the 14 hours of downtime from withdrawal activities to revoke all customer TUFA tokens according to a statement released by the company today. Customers were subsequently migrated to a fully new TUFA infrastructure, which served as an extra layer of protection. That will only be for a short period of time, as the firm wants to replace TUFA with real multi-factor authentication, MFA, which will provide additional strength for our worldwide user base, according to the corporation. Since the announcement of the security vulnerability, 
shares of Crypto.com have dropped more than 6%, with the stock ending Thursday at 46 cents a share. Don't just buy Bitcoin earn it with BlockFi, when you spend with BlockFi you can earn 3.5% back.